morning, everybody. Thanks for joining our May 22nd edition of the COVID-19 Insurance News and Marketing Update. I'm Jim McDaniel, the Marketing and Technology Director with URL. I'll be kind of manning the slides here today as we go through the presentation. As you know, uh, insurance is an essential life-sustaining business here in Pennsylvania, and we will continue <clears throat> to hold these weekly webinars to update you on industry news and share marketing and sales concepts that you can begin to use today. Uh, we're also here, obviously, to field any questions you may have. Um, in the GoToMeeting control panel on the right, you'll see a questions panel where you can send us over anything. We'll read them aloud at the end of the meeting here and uh, hopefully answer anything you may have. I'm going to flip. Uh, you should be able to see our homepage here. And uh, from there, you can uh, click in this right corner. And this takes you to our COVID-19 insurance news resource page. We have all the different newsletters that we put out here. As you scroll down, you can see uh, COVID-specific webinars we've held, uh, additional resources for agents and employees, uh, businesses, et cetera, and the insurance news that we put out that has links to various resources from a variety of carriers and government agencies, as well as uh, these recorded sessions are here as well. Um, one slight change to uh, our program that you'll notice next week, and I'll get into my the slideshow here and kind of show you what we're going to be changing up a little bit. Um, first, uh, on the call with us, we've got Deb Wilkinson and Thomas with an update from Health Plan Options, and Matt Alina and Steve Clemens with an update on the life market side of things. Um, and here's the here's what's going to kind of change next Friday. We're going to move to another webinar system that we've used. Uh, we kind of just brought on at the beginning of this year. You may have attended one of these already with us. It's uh, it's called On24, but uh, there's no software to download. It's very easy to join. You can watch it on any web browser, on a phone, on a tablet, on a, uh, a computer. There's no there's no uh, phone number to dial into, so all the audio will come across the computer here, and it'll look something like this. Um, we'll be live on it with uh, video, so as people are presenting, you'll be able to see their pretty faces and uh, comments and uh, like as we uh, gotta go through. There's a question and answer box there. The resources will be available. It's a pretty slick system, so we're excited to share that with you next Friday. And uh, switch back just real quick to the homepage. Um, you will need to kind of re-register. So in the follow-up email to this webinar, there'll be a link where you can sign up for the next event. Um, we <clears throat> weren't receiving a lot of questions from our insurance news page here, so we changed this form into a, uh, a registration form for the next webinar. So you can register and jump in at the time the webinar starts. You can register beforehand. It's a, it's a pretty simple process to, to get on it. So if, uh, you know, no, no tricky software to download or anything like that, it's a pretty easy uh, pretty easy system to get on to. So um, look forward to seeing you next week at the same time for that. So without any further ado, I will pass it along to Deb or Thomas. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Thomas from the HPO department. Uh, happy Friday. I'm going to get right into it again with some legislative updates this week. Um, some good, some bad, and some in between. Um, so the, as I mentioned last week, the, the House uh, voted and it did pass the HEROES Act, but uh, that's almost definitely going to get shut down into the Senate. Uh, even with some revisions they made to that uh, bill, uh, the Senate is not going to sign off on it. Uh, Senator Mitch McConnell has stated that he's going to, he's looking to end the $600 a week federal uh, enhanced unemployment compensation benefits, uh, and he's not looking to include it in any future proposals. Uh, currently, the the federal unemployment compensation stimulus, that enhancement, uh, runs through July 25th of this year. The CARES Act um, provides PA with, if you could go to the next slide, please. The uh, CARES Act which has already passed, obviously, that provided with PA, that provided PA with additional funding, um, allowing 13 additional weeks of unemployment compensation benefits. So what McConnell stated about the federal um, stimulus benefits does not um, coincide with the PA benefits. PA will be uh, extended another 13 weeks. If you could go to the next slide, please. So more counties, 
Uh, here's some good news. More counties as of today are moving into uh, the yellow phase. Uh, so after after weeks, Governor Wolf, after weeks of pressure, finally eased some restrictions on some different industries like like taverns, for example. Uh, it's worth noting that he did veto uh, three bills, a package of three bills that would have helped more PA residents uh, get back to work safely and responsibly. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't trust PA residents to be able to handle that responsibility. Uh, despite the facts, th those bills included numerous measures to protect the health and safety of not only the workers that would be returning to work, but the, the customers. Um, because of that veto, more than 200,000 PA residents still will remain out of work. Uh, just wanted to note that today. So <clears throat> if we could go to the next slide, yeah, some updates, a continued conversation from last week. There was some more uh, guidelines released um, allowing changes the IR, with the IRS notices, allowing changes to employer health plans, uh, flexible spending accounts, dependent care accounts, uh, and more without the need for a qualifying event. Uh, if we could go to the next slide, please. The For the FSA, the flexible spending account and the dependent care FSA, it's, it's going to be up to the employers to choose the to extend any grace periods and for the healthcare FSA it's important to note that the rollover limit uh, was increased from 500 to 550 uh, going into 2021 uh, if we could go to the next slide so again unlike the extension of the deadlines um, that would uh, work with COBRA and notices uh, with with the FSAs and the dependent cares, the employers are going to to choose if they will amend those uh, their plan to allow for those uh, provisions. So, just wanted to note that there. And with that being said, I'm going to hand it off to Deb Wilkinson. I hope everyone has a a happy and safe Memorial Day weekend. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, a lot of uh, things legislatively that affect <clears throat> our employer group clients and agents, uh, your clients as well. So for today, I wanted to focus a little bit on almost recapping some of the ideas that we've talked about the last several weeks and where the opportunities lie within the, the group health market. So we talked about employer paid ancillary benefits. You know, employers may be struggling and, and that may be one of the the uh, casualties of uh, another casualty of the COVID-19 pandemic that employers have to choose what benefits they continue and which ones they don't. So there's that opportunity to trans transition those employer paid benefits to voluntary benefits because they are real life benefits that the employees uh, depend upon. Um, so so that's an opportunity with health plans and the, just the normal increases that go on with medical trend and uh you know increased rates even as without COVID-19 um some employers are increasing deductibles just to make their plans more affordable so look for those holes either in employer paid or voluntary gap type programs the hospital indemnity accident bridge plans etc so opportunity number two Number three, get your group set up on a Ben Admin platform. Um, this is the way of the future. This uh, it gives you, um, you know, streamlined communication, streamlined renewal processes. So, uh, you know, we talked about the opportunities within URL for a Ben Admin system, and some do come at a cost. But I would say that the cost of um, you know not having one may be greater as we move forward and possibly experience a second wave of a lockdown. Um, Orion Services, you might not do group health, but your partner URL does. Always remember that. Thomas does a great job taking care of your clients uh, on, on your behalf. And uh, if this is not in your wheelhouse, it is something that um, I want you to consider. And also watch for upcoming virtual appointment um, opportunities and Orion webinars that we're planning uh, coming down the pike. Start now to manage your open enrollments virtually, uh, whether it's you know any of the programs out there, 
this is going to be something that you're going to have to get comfortable with and adapt to. Uh, so if you don't have those technology um, options right now, look into them. Give me a call. Uh, Jim McDaniel and his, and his uh, IT and marketing team are a wealth of knowledge on all of these systems. Uh, so again, we're here to help, but I'm here to tell you that you need to get prepared. Um, fourth quarter enrollment help. Consider enrollment support options. We talked about BenaChoice and the Ben Admin Systems as well as their enrollment specialist being able to help you and support your enrollment services for your renewals as well as any new opportunities that come your way uh, in our busy season for 12-1 and 1-1. One, one. Um, and last but not least, ex expectations on how employers engage with employees and communicate and how employees want to be engaged with um, are changing. And there is an article in my newsletter as well as the COVID newsletter about how these um, demands are need to be met. Employers need to be more transparent, uh, more so than they ever have before. And employees want more online access. They want more virtual engagement. So again, it, it goes to the point of our world has changed, um, you know, and these are the things that uh, are here to stay and we need to either embrace them or we'll be left behind. Um, so we, again, are here to help you with all of these items and uh, I encourage you to reach out to me and, uh, you know, get some more information if you need to. Some upcoming events, uh, CE course on Monday, June 1st at 11 with United Concordia, talking about the correlation between your oral health and your, your medical health. Um, health savings with uh, a new company that we are marketing. Um, great HSA features. This company actually has their employee, uh, I'm sorry, the, their members uh, contribute to their HSAs and invest more so than any other carrier in the United vendor, excuse me, in the United States. So um, it's worth tuning in on June 25th at 10. And then IHC Benefits not only offers short-term medical, but some um, group options as well. So that is also on the 25th at 2 p.m. Um, and next slide, please. Our contact information is here, myself and Thomas and our entire team uh, is able to help you and we're certainly willing. So just reach out and uh, as Thomas mentioned, I hope you all have a great holiday weekend and uh, you know, remember, remember why uh, we're celebrating this weekend for those that have passed keeping us free. So thank you all. And I will now pass it over to Steve Clemens, Vice President of Life Market. Thanks, Deb. Um, and thank you everybody for being on the call today. Um, look forward to a great holiday weekend and uh, some uh, some good updates here from the life markets uh, for this Friday. So um, a couple updates. Um, currently, we are seeing because of a low interest rate environment, uh, a continued low interest rate environment, um, and the heavily, heavy reserves life insurance companies have to have on guaranteed universal life prices. Uh, we are seeing price increases on those products uh, that have either recently happened, like Lincoln, Pacific Life, and Prudential. Um, North American is raising their premiums on their guaranteed universal life and their guaranteed index universal life starting June 3rd. So um, if you do have business uh, for clients who are looking for a guaranteed universal life product um, in, in the next um, coming weeks, please uh, don't hesitate. It's a good time to get on the phone with them and check rates and, and lock in the, the lower rate. American National is raising their rates on July 1st for their GUL product um, and uh, September 1st in New York. Uh, so definitely look at rates, contact myself, Joey Fry on our Life Markets team for assistance uh, to kind of find the, the companies with the, the most competitive either products, services, rates, et cetera. Um, Protective Life, um, they are aggressively trying to get new additional business. Um, they have, uh, they are reducing their term rates. They just reduced them on May 18th and that has put them in the top three uh, ninety six percent of the the time in monthly pay scenarios and top three ninety two percent of the time in annual pay scenarios so their term product is very competitive right now so if you're on our quote engine uh, that will reflect that you'll see protective life kind of at the top there 
um, with Banner and, and the traditional companies. Um, they've also uh, introduced recently a 35-year and a 40-year term plan. Uh, now Protective and Banner both have 35 and 40-year level term plans. So for your younger clients looking for longer term, we like to say 40 is the new 30 uh, because uh, you you know 30 year was the longest term available. Now you can go out to 40 years um, if you need that. And they recently also introduced a new competitive guaranteed UL. So you will also see protective near the top of the rate uh, the rate sheets for guaranteed universal life product. That new guaranteed UL has a chronic illness accelerated benefit rider, i.e. your, your band-aid to long-term care, as well as some return of premium features in the 15th, 20th, and 25th years. Um, banner life on the term markets, uh, usually the term life leader out there also reduced term rates in April. Um, and what I'm going to talk about for a couple slides here in just a couple minutes is their new digital application process. Um, they introduced this. Um, it is now easier, faster, and better. So let's take a look at that. Um, really, they, they've had a digital app process for, for many years. You can access it on their website or on URL's website through the iGo platform. It's currently their, their traditional, easy, quick electronic app is called App Assist. It's what we call a drop ticket. You give the, the company basic information on the client, submit it, and the company kind of takes over from there. They do a phone interview with your client, um, and they schedule the paramed exam and uh, do that whole process. Well, that's great. It makes life easy for you, but it's putting more work on your client, that traditional drop ticket process. It's putting about a 40 to 45 minute phone interview on your client. Um, and it, you know, it's hard to get people on the phone. So uh, they will call six six times before they before they kind of give up and kind of wave the white flag and say, hey, we need some help getting the client on the phone. Um, so what, what they've found is with that process, there's room for improvement and they've greatly improved it. So let's look at the next slide. So the, the process for you is, as the agent is still the same. You drop a ticket on iPipeline, on URL's website, or on Banner's website. The client is emailed and text, texted an online application link. So what the client now gets is their information, their application. They can put their information into the system. All those questions, that 45-minute that phone call, your client can now do from the comfort of their home, on their couch, while they're watching TV with their family, and answer those questions um, and that application is updated in real time. So from there, the application is signed electronically and an exam will be scheduled if needed. And we'll talk more about that. And if eligible, the policy will be approved and issued exam free. Um, the new underwriting platform gives the clients an easy to complete digital application. They collect relevant information with reflexive questions, which in English means if the client has a couple medical concerns, they have the follow-up questions built in so they don't have to order unnecessary requirements and things to, to slow down the process. Um, it does reduce the need for exams for eligible clients, um, and it definitely reduces the cycle time and even exam-free underwriting. So let's, let's go on to the next slide. So the key benefits, it is a better user experience. Um, you can get instant decisions, and uh, there's an automated application management in real time. Eligibility for instant decisions, uh, or eligibility, excuse me, for the new digital application process is under age 65, $2 million and less currently, all states except New York and Florida right now, and the proposed insured is the owner of the policy and the payer of the policy. Right now, if you're adding riders or want a temporary insurance agreement um, or for business coverage or waiver of premium, that is not eligible right now, but we're, we're looking, they're looking to improve that uh, sometime here within the next month to start adding some of those additional benefits. Um, it is available, again, on our website on iPipeline or on Banner's website. 
and myself or Joey Fry and our Life Markets team can show you more on that. So let's go to the next slide. Um, so this is a snapshot of the email and the text your client would get. Um, again, once that application, that ticket has been dropped, they get a, an email and a text to launch their application by simply just clicking on that link. So next slide. And they stay in front of the customer, so they stay in touch. So if, the, if your customer hasn't responded to that email or that text message, um, they send reminders in two days, in four days, and in seven days. By day 15, they include a final email, both to you as the agent and the client that there's been no action taken on that application. So they keep you involved, they keep the client involved and engaged through the process. Next slide. So the pilot has worked very well. Um, it's been streamlined. 60% of customers have accessed the link sent to them faster. It's almost, um, it's an average of less than three days for a client to complete the application online. 91% uh, of customers completed the application after starting the application. Um, so what that means is if they, don't, if they don't complete the application, Banner gives them a call and they complete those final questions. So if 91% are completing it, those other 9% are still getting a call from Banner and whatever they have not completed, Banner will complete on the phone for them which makes their process a lot easier. So if they completed half the application, they're gonna have half the phone call that they normally would have to do. So it shortens that phone time the client needs. Um, but if they complete all of it, like nine out of 10 people do, they will never get that phone call. 34% of customers access the application on a mobile phone. So again, you know, some people are doing it on a traditional desktop, but almost you know three and a half out of ten are just doing it right from their phone 32 percent benefited from exam free underwriting meaning three out of ten people never needed that exam and it reduces the cycle time by an average of 20 days on these applications that's a huge amount of time so a great process to look at um, if you're looking at term quotes and term rates on our website and you're seeing Banner Life Legal in general and you want to start utilizing this application process, um, certainly uh, let, us, let us know and we'll be happy to help. Um, with that, I have uh, Matt Alina from our final expense department uh, with some information in final expense. Here you go, Matt. Thank you, Steve. Good morning, URL family and friends. And uh, it, it's uh, it's it's good to come. Uh, it's good to uh, be on here today and talk to you about some different uh, sales ideas and get, get some updates. And uh, congratulations to those counties that have gone to yellow uh, this week. Uh, enjoy it. Um, I, when one of the things that uh, I'll point out with with the counties changing over to yellow, we get this question a lot. So I do uh, just kind of that. When it comes to face to face sales, you're allowed to do that in yellow counties. Rope counties are supposed to do telephone. COVID 19 lockdown, and we've been stuck at home or working from our home office. We, uh, can't really go out and see a lot of clients face to face. Uh, Liberty Bankers Life is one of those companies that's become a diamond in the rough. They've really kind of rose to the challenge uh, of being able to help you and help your clients get the coverage that they need. Uh, a week ago, we talked about how clients were doing panic buying, and one of the things that they were buying was permanent life insurance, believe it or not. Well, Liberty Bankers Life offers permanent life insurance, and you can do the sale over the phone. So while Steve is talking about the digital application that uh, Legal and General Banner Life is doing, um, this company, Liberty Bankers Life, has a three-way phone call where you have the client on the phone, do some pre-qualifying questions, and conference call in the underwriter. They'll verify the client's information, and then uh, after about 20 minutes or so, um, you're going to have an underwriting decision before you hang up. 
So move on to the next slide. I'd like to introduce to you my brother-in-law, Mark. Now this is not what he, Mark looks like, um, but my brother-in-law, Mark, 30 was diagnosed. Mark is with him that they remove the section of Hey guys, this is Jim jumping in here. I think Matt is having some audio difficulties here. Um, Steve, I don't know if you can jump in and run these slides. Yep, sure can. All right, Matt, maybe try calling back in, um, <clears throat> but uh, we were losing your audio there. Okay, so I'll take over from Matt. What Matt's uh, sharing here are some case studies uh, that are are real cases with Liberty Bankers. Um, so again, we're looking at a 38-year-old Mark here who's a non-smoker who drinks socially, uh, his profession as an actuary. He's married with uh, two kids, eight and six. Um, three years ago, Mark was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. Um, the He had his section of his colon removed and underwent chemo and radiation, but he's been he's been cancer free for over two years. So we'll go to the next slide. Um, Liberty Bankers um, could get him up to $30,000, their maximum coverage at their preferred risk uh, for $59.26 a month. Now that's a, that's a $30,000 whole life insurance policy. So that premium will never rise uh, and his coverage will never, will never decrease. Uh, that rate is locked in for life and he cannot outlive his coverage. It also has, um, being a whole life policy, there's cash value growth in there. And Liberty Bankers has a two year look back on internal cancers. Uh, so it's only two years of treatment um, and diagnosis. And after that, if the client has been cancer free, uh, they, they can then get the coverage. And as Matt was pointing out, it is same day underwriting and decisions. So what that means is, Again, it's paperless application. So this is great for a young person. This this company will go as low as age 20 for a client, age 20 to 80 for coverages. So uh, you know, for Mark, who might be a little bit more tech savvy, being a younger guy and doing e apps and e signatures with companies, that's great. But when we're working with our seniors who may not be so tech savvy, that three way phone call and that underwriting decision phenomenal i mean that that's just a that's a game changer so let's take a look at our next uh our next case here so matt has trudy here uh trudy is a 76 year old female non-smoker who's retired and widowed um she enjoys her grandkids cats cooking and baking um she's your typical grandma um she's a type 2 diabetic but she also has copd uh, but not using oxygen. Um, she uses al an albuterol inhaler and other breathing treatments. Um, she wants $15,000 for burial expense, final last expenses um, to take care of that so her family doesn't have to have that burden. So uh, let's take a look at what Liberty can do for Trudy. So they're gonna offer her again, day one level benefit whole life, uh, not on their preferred rate, but their standard rate. Um, but again, it's day one coverage, 15,000 would be 164.73 monthly, and 10,000 would be 111.36. So she may have uh, been wanting the 15, but her budget's closer to the $10,000 rate um, again, the rates are locked in for the rest of her life. She cannot outlive her coverage. And Liberty Bankers is not concerned about the type 2 diabetes or the COPD without oxygen use. And again, same day approval. She got, she was on the phone with her agent, with the underwriter, and after a short phone call, she had instant approval, which means 
She has the peace of mind that she's got the coverage. And as an agent, you are getting paid um, either daily or weekly by Liberty Bankers, um, and you get compensated for that sale right away. So a snapshot, again, it's actually, issue, we have issue ages 18 to 80. Benefits start at $3,000, up to $30,000 of coverage. No exams, no medical, uh, rec no medical records. So it's going to be that instant decision. They're not going to order paramedics. They're not going to order APSs. Uh, again, liberal underwriting, paperless application, approved for phone sales, same-day underwriting, Niches for underwriting include diabetes, COPD, AFib, irregular heartbeats, hepatitis C, Parkinson's, and lupus. So if you're in that marketplace or if you have a hard-to-place life case, um, give Matt a call. He can go over the risk assessment and see if Liberty Bankers uh, is a good choice or there might be another niche. Matt and our, our life markets final expense area represent over 20 different companies with multiple underwriting uh, risk and niches in those areas. So clients on a limited budget, heart attacks, previous heart attacks, stroke, cancer, depression, anxiety, bipolar, AFib, lupus, Parkinson's, uncontrolled diabetes, um, Matt's ready for that challenge. So uh, certainly reach out to him and he'll be able to help you out with that. And just some updates from uh, the final expense area. Matt, as always, is doing the monthly um, Monday webinar. The, that'll be Monday, June 1st at 10 a.m., going over product services, lead programs um, to help you get started in that market. We did see um, a bunch of new agents uh, who are primarily Medicare focused getting involved in our lead program, which is amazing and awesome, and people going out on their first appointments this week from that. So we're very excited about that. Um, so if your primary market's Medicare right now and you have time to kind of cross pollinate and do some marketing, reach out to Matt. He can help you get started. Um, and we have Facebook marketing advertising uh, presentation on Wednesday, June 3rd and post-pandemic business plan, Wednesday, June 10th at 10 a.m. So all of those start 10 a.m. Eastern, so uh, certainly sign up for those. And any questions on those, uh, Matt and Alina will be able to assist you on that. And again, if you have any questions for me uh, on the traditional term UL, uh, traditional whole life markets, please reach out to me. My direct line is there, as well as Matt's on our final expense side. Again, appreciate everybody for being on the call and spending some time with us at URL and uh, have a great, safe and happy Memorial Day weekend. And I'm gonna sign off and pass it on to uh, Jim McDaniel to close out the uh, close out the presentation. Okay guys, thanks. Uh, sorry we had a little uh, audio glitch there with Matt's end of things, but uh, Steve, appreciate you jumping in there and uh, taking over. So yeah, um, no real questions to, let me make sure I don't have any questions here. Uh, yep, sounds good. Thanks, Sean. You have a great weekend too. Everybody on the call, have a great weekend. Um, Memorial Day weekend, just remember, uh, you know, the reason that we're celebrating it uh, for the for the men and women of the military that have given the ultimate sacrifice to, uh, to make sure we live in a free country. So thanks everybody. Uh, hopefully the weather gets a little better here and, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next Friday on our new, uh, our new system of on 24, look for a new registration link for that. And just as another one more house cleaning item, we, uh, our office will be closed Monday for Memorial day. Um, and, uh, we have a message going out today on that if, uh, if it hasn't gone already. So thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to sign off. Have a great weekend. Bye now.